Good morning, everybody, guys. It is like 7 a.m. Friday, April 12th. We are back at Orlando Longwood Auto Auction. Now I'm gonna start this video by saying, yesterday's video I bitched and moaned a lot because you know customers are fucking stupid. But I'm gonna tell you, I've been in retail sales my entire working career, okay? So sometimes it gets a little fucking annoying when people think they're experts when they don't know shit. So I'll just lead off today's video with that. We did obviously end up selling that Highlander yesterday, but you know, we didn't really make shit on it. So it comes and it goes. I think we found a good daily and I'm gonna wait until the end of this video or at least midway through it to show it to you because I don't want to get my hopes up too much. But it's another big body SUV. If you guys can't tell that is like my flavor. That's what I like to buy and sell and drive. So that's what we're shooting for. We're gonna keep looking at these cars and maybe I'll show you a couple of examples of what we're looking at today. So stay tuned. We have good content coming your right, way. So we're here with Jay Tizzle. We're going to look at a, uh, what was that number again for that, for that truck? Seven. 267. So this is one truck that I've wanted for a while. JT, see, this kid follows the Boy Scout model. This kid always comes prepared. I just show up. So we're going to take a look at this truck and see what's going on. My concern is that it has a misfire code. I'm hopeful that it's EVAP, but it's a, well, I'll just show you guys. 2015. Grand Cherokee Limited with a 3.6 Pentastar. Now, for those of you guys at home that are not familiar with these engines. I like to put the butt plug on these things. Uh, let's see here. Hang on one second, guys. That's them again. Well, uh, that is a concern. 3.6 Pentastars are known to have, known to have EVAP codes, which is no big deal, but they're also known to have misfire codes. Yeah, we figured that out the hard way. I wonder if this thing's just not connected. I don't know. Sometimes it takes a second. Oh, no, 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 no. There it is. I oh, see the light go. flashing. Oh, no, you're good. It's a coolant temp sensor. All right, good. What that. do you think, JT? Would you drive this? Yeah, absolutely. It's nice. Looks good. So there is one other truck that I kind of like, guys. JT actually just found out how nice these things are. What's your opinion, JT, on 2015, 16, and 17 expeditions? Don't like them, man. <laughs> Why don't you like them? Up, you. Why don't you like them? They don't sell, at least for me. I think it's trim though. Yeah. See, like if this no, just I, said, I cloth one, if this said one. Laredo, I wouldn't be a buyer. Probably. Trim. I mean, for what it is, like if I get oh, this, this like four wheel drive. <laughs> if I get this for like seven, maybe seventy five, I f feel like this has got to be. That's a nice truck, man. This has got to be like a a ninety nine hundred dollar truck. It's got to be. I agree. So we got cool temp sensor. It's a good looking truck. I just, you know, I hate to get into something like this and then it's, you know, then it's hard to sell, but we've had one of these before and it sold. Let's see what Carfax says. Holy Don't. big book. No, it doesn't really have a crazy retail on it. So I'd say like seven grand. Pay seven grand. That's, that's, that's like it. Yeah. Open it at seven seven maybe like 78 if i own this for like less than i would say as long as i own this like real dollar for less than eight grand i feel like that's fine of course what helps is that it's at the end of the sale it's like you guys at home don't really obviously go to wholesale auctions but this is important if this number if this number said b 67 okay. this well. would probably be an 85 to nine thousand dollar suv but yep. because it's at the end of the sale it might be a little cheaper might be. You get lucky. And sometimes you fucking don't. <laughs> <laughs> JT was the same guy. We were just talking about Jay Tizzle running into our fucking douchebag oh, yeah. customers. I said, oh yeah, one of your angry customers must have keyed this car. What a fucking bum. Like, who yeah. even says shit like that? You know what I mean? Oh, I think, somebody uh, must have keyed your car. I think we should make a platform where we tell each other when a bum ass motherfucker comes and looks at your shit so they don't have to waste everybody else's time, you know? Right. Fucking That's idiots. Good. Well, JT is going to go put his... Uh, put his jacket right. up his bitch mittens were a little chilly this morning ain't that right jay tizzle yeah, that's right so we're gonna hop into this sale here i would say guys i really need to spend 
right around, I need to spend right around $30,000 today. That is the key magic number outside of my daily driver. So I need to try to get a couple of good units for that four to 5,000 mark and spend about 30. That's what we collected in the past couple of days in gross sales. So that's what we need to replace. We are down to damn near no cars and you can't sell from an empty shelf. So we're gonna try to get a couple and see if we can make some magic happen. But I might end up having to stay until the very end, which would absolutely suck. So guys, stay tuned. We're gonna see if I either go home with a Grand Cherokee or an Expedition. I'm leaning towards Grand Cherokee though. I haven't had one of those in a long time. And I feel like it's a nice truck. You guys tell me though, would you drive a Grand Cherokee? I would, I'm not scared of that car, but maybe some of you guys out there have a different experience than I do. So let me know in the comments down below. Would you guys drive that Grand Cherokee or an EcoBoost Expedition? I'm team Grand Cherokee for now. This is also written down on our list. Just love this car. Somebody in the comments said, what's my favorite vehicle to sell? It's Ford fucking Edges. I mean, these things are nice. Oh, this one's got Pano sunroof. Yeah. Ford Edges, Lincoln MKZs. MKX's, I think this one's dead. Most popular selling cars for sure. What's up brother, how you doing? So we're gonna jump in here and see if we can get some cars, kids. Stay tuned. All right guys, we made it back through YouTube Magic. We are here back at the shop. And I decided that I knew exactly what I wanted to buy. I kind of knew it as soon as I saw it, but we have coming in here very soon. Captain America is amazing, by the way. I buy these cars on Fridays and usually I see them here same day. But there was a 2015 Ford Expedition with the 3.5 EcoBoost, so twin turbo V6 XLT, but it came with the, uh, the upgraded interior. So they optioned that vehicle with the factory heated and cooled leather seats with the bigger uh, Ford sync systems so that comes with your power lift gate, backup camera, parking sensors, all that good stuff. I paid $6,200 for this truck. I overpaid, guys. I really did. I paid too much for that vehicle. But it's a lot of truck for the money. It's a 2015, has 180 on the clock, I believe. And I've had them before, and I absolutely love them. They drive great. I've never had any major issues out of those vehicles. And this one is green light guaranteed. So if it comes back and it doesn't shift, smokes, pours tons of oil, it is not ours. We don't have to keep it. I do have to take a quick break. Because that Kia, we have a buyer ready to take that off our hands for $8,500. So I'm going to take a moment to spruce it up, touch up the vacuum, wash the outside, and then hopefully we'll be good to go. Um, right now we're empty. I'm out of vehicles. I only bought three today, which is not nearly what I needed to, uh, not nearly what I needed to try to make this thing work. I need to reasonably buy about four to five more cars to stock back up on inventory because the Kia hypothetically is being sold today. The Ford Explorer is being sold at six o'clock. That puts us down to one, two, maybe three, four cars left. I mean, that's, that's a far cry from what we need. I need like 15 cars here. So we're gonna try. So I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna clean the Sorento. I'll give you guys an overview of it. I don't know if I've shown you this vehicle before, but it's a 17 Sorento EX with a two liter turbo four cylinder. So I'm gonna clean it and then I'll show you guys a quick overview of the car. And uh, hopefully we're counting some cash. So let's make it happen. Cut scene. Captain fucking America just delivered our new daily driver. I know, why not? Yeah. What up brother? What's up? I'd say it's the hell of a fucking truck. Yeah, yeah. Nope. No kidding. Guys, I know it's a little bit of a curveball. I wanted a Grand Cherokee. I wanted this. I wanted that. But I've had these trucks before, and they are awesome in every which capacity. They're big. They're bulky. They have plenty of room, plenty of space. Generally speaking, pretty reliable. So I'm going to show you the inside of this truck, and then maybe we'll go for a quick little test drive. But I'm super happy with this truck. Oh, not happy with this. That's not good. I'm sure that's something we could probably glue back, I guess. 
front row. That's not good. Well, let me show you the inside of this thing and why I like these trucks right, so much. So minus some of its cosmetic defects. Let's hop in here real quick. So, ooh, all right, I didn't see that either. That's not good. Oh, they were kind enough, kind enough to leave us all the parts. I wonder if we could, I don't know if we'll be able to fix that, but this truck is an XLT leather loaded backup camera. It's essentially optioned as a limited. No, no, no. I gotta run, brother. I gotta go help Howard, man. Oh Lord, what happened to Howard? Howard, um, he has a Copart car on his trailer. Uh huh. Cannot get it off. Delivery had no forklift, as described. Fork on from Copart. Fork off at delivery. Right. Get to delivery. No fork. No fork. Came with a spoon. <laughs> stupid <laughs> bastards. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Well, oh, hey. Oh, I gotta go rescue him, man. I'm gonna go take my truck and I'm gonna fucking yank that motherfucker off. But I told him, listen, man, make sure you get your money. Yeah. And uh, let him know, hey, you got any damage, send, whatever. Send me my money, and I'll tell you where the keys are at, where you can get this truck. Other than that, take me to fucking court. That's the transport business, baby. <laughs> Life of the fast lane. Well, this truck I'm pretty happy with. I um, I would say for the most part, these are pretty good vehicles. And I've had them before. They get decent gas mileage for big ass trucks. Nice truck, real nice. Yeah, it drives, drives nice, it's tight, smooth. Power adjusting steering wheel, power adjusting pedals. Just a nice vehicle. So now this is not what we discussed. Everybody was expecting me to get maybe something a little more luxurious, but this is the type of dad wagon I enjoy driving. They're big, they're gigantic, they get all right gas mileage, but this is like my, this is my comfort zone. And honestly, this car is perfect in the program, right? By program, I mean what I normally buy and sell. Just statistically speaking, the chance of somebody calling me and saying, hey, do you have a big body Mercedes? Pretty slim. Chance of somebody calling me and saying, hey, I need a three row SUV for the kids, for my wife to drive something comfortable with some features. I got you on that. So we're gonna park this. We're gonna check out that Infiniti G25 that I bought. I think that, I think that's gonna be a, a, real, a real solid winner, but it remains to be seen. We just have to kind of feel it out, see what it looks like. So we're gonna park this big ass expedition now, and we're gonna see how this G25 looks. I have not had a G25 before. Apparently it's like an inline four cylinder or an inline six cylinder. So a little different than what I'm used to, but all in all, probably not a bad ride. So let's hop out of this and go check hey guys, it out. Guys, it's been a while since I've played in the mud with something like this, but how do you say no to this car for fifteen hundred fucking dollars? Two thousand eleven Infiniti G twenty five inline six has good Cooper tires on it. The inside is immaculate. I just like I can't believe this. It doesn't have it doesn't have an owner's manual, but who cares? But I mean. Like how, how do you say no to this for 2,500 or $1,500 rather? That's what I paid for this car, $1,500. The inside is clean. I mean, it's just stained, but not ripped. Like this interior will clean up really well. I'm like, I'm shocked. <laughs> it starts right up. It has cold air conditioning. Does it have a backup camera? Backup camera with guidance lines? I'm like, I'm stunned. I can't believe this. I'm gonna go drive it real quick with you. I mean, even like the suspension feels tight. I don't know, guys. This might be a $3,500 car. Like, we might make $3,500 in this thing. I don't know. Maybe three grand. This is nuts. runs and drives. I mean, it, I, I'm like, I cannot believe this. This is insane. Let's just see. I don't know. Let's just 
These are $1,500 scratch-off tickets. It shifts. Holy shit. I Guys, cannot believe this. This, this is why buying these cheap fucking cars can sometimes pay off. Is it a win every time? Definitely not, no. But this is a $4,500 car if I've ever fucking seen one. This is a three-piece fucking car right here, guys. I cannot believe it. Fuck, this is awesome. I mean, this car is fucking nice. All we're gonna do is we are going to clean this thing up. We're gonna make it look as pretty as humanly possible. And then this bitch is going up for sale for $44.99. S completely serious, $44.99. Am I gonna make a fucking killing? Absolutely, but you know what? Every now and again, I think that I deserve to make a killing on a car. It's really, really often I'm out here just kind of barely dangling at, you know, 1500 bucks, 1200 bucks. This is my time to shine. I cannot believe it. So guys, to not get too long, you know, long in this video here, we have customers coming up we have an opportunity to sell the Ford Explorer that's been sitting and the Kia Sorento um, or whatever that thing is, Sorento. So we're going to see what happens. I'm going to leave it there for today because this video is already getting pretty long and I don't want to keep you guys all day. So that being said, we're going to clean the Infinity up. We're going to clean the Expedition up. The Expedition's coming home with me tonight. Uh, I'm going to put some miles on it. And then if I sold anything, you guys are going to know in tomorrow's video. So I appreciate you all watching. If you like this content, make sure to hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you get all updates from us. Like I said before, and I'll say it again, every day I work, I post. So don't miss the opportunity to see what we're doing. And guys, if you ever see a car that I have for sale here that you like, I ship anywhere in the United States. So let us know. Our email and all of our information is in our bio. So feel free to send me a message. Guys, I appreciate each and every single one of you. I'll talk to you soon. Ciao.